This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Caravan of Garbage, where, of course, we are working our way through currently the DC graveyard, the bin fire, the trash bag. The leftovers. The leftovers, whatever you want to call it. Now, now look, last week we did Catwoman. It obviously should have been there for a number of reasons. Things coming up. Who knows what's next? Mm. I think also obviously should have been there. This one this week, though... Kind of a big shame. Disappointingly, a good movie, I thought, (laughs) even on a rewatch. Yeah, absolutely. So we are, of course, talking about uh, Constantine from 2005. Uh, Now, it's interesting because, like all of Alan Moore's uh, adaptations, he probably famously hates this one as well, I (laughs) assume. Yes, but I think the difference is... Uh, this creation he's claimed to have met in real life. That is true. Yeah. But I think he just met Sting. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> he might have met Sting. <laughs> <laughs> because famously, uh, 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 John Constantine, originally introduced in uh, an issue, I think, of Swamp Thing, Yes. Uh, was designed visually to look like Sting. Like the artists were like, we want to make a guy that looks like Sting. Yeah. And the idea being that like, I think that... British and all, you know? Yeah, very British. The, the, the idea that, that, you know, a lot of wizards, when you think of a wizard, you think of a Gandalf or a mm. Merlin, like they're very quite hoity-toity. And wizened. Hard, wizened and old and kind of wearing robes and hard to get, hard to relate to kind of things. So they're like, what about a really down-to-earth working class kind of magician? And he's drunk. And he's from Liverpool in the original things. Absolutely, So, yes. so uh, you know, you might think he's like Cockney or something, but he actually sounds like the Beatles. He does. Hello, like, I'm John Constantine. I'm one of the Beatles. Which one do you think I sound Maybe like? I was at one of the Beatles. <laughs> I killed Paul and I became one of the Beatles. Have you heard that I theory? became John Lennon. There were two John Lennons <laughs> for a few years. I just got rid of McCartney. <laughs> Have you heard that Paul McCartney theory that he was he died and was being yes, replaced? he was killed by John Constantine. There we go. Yes. Okay, so I'd like to just briefly touch on the actual comic book version of Constantine Please. because this is mostly it with a couple of significant changes. But what what does he do? What is he about generally? If you haven't seen like even the newer show, yeah, you know? yeah. Well, he's uh, he's 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 driven by a need to. Uh, Save humanity from from uh, denizens of the underworld and yes. also themselves. But he's also a real prick. Yeah. But he's witty and he's kind of rude and he's uh, he's he's very um, arrogant. But he's got the powers to back it up. Yeah, absolutely. He'll he'll often be in a scenario where he's completely outmatched. But guess what? He's got a magic book and he's trapped <laughs> in, a, in a weird dimension or something. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. He'll do something. Or he previously lights. made a deal with an, somebody else with a magic book. <laughs> He'll trap you in the magic book. He doesn't exactly. have to lift a finger because he already he already chatted up the bloke with the magic book. That's right. That's yeah. right. So initially in the comics, the idea was that he was going to hell because he summoned a demon, which ended up killing a little girl and dragging them to hell. Mm-hmm. This time around in the movie. It's because he attempted a suicide and that is a sin. So eventually he's going to end up in hell. So he's like, I'm going to try and buy my way into heaven by just saving as many people as I can. Mm. And what I think I like about this version a lot, well, a number of things. You like that he smokes. I like that he smokes. You love that. That's cool. You you, you recommend it to everyone. And there's no consequences for that. That's true. It turns out in this movie in the (laughs) end. But I, I feel like he's got, even though he's using like, crazy occult stuff and all these methods and there's a bizarre logic to the universe. He just feels like an exterminator. You know? Sure, He's yeah. not like great at kung fu. He's like, okay, what kind of demon is this? Oh, this is the... Okay, I, can, I can probably trap this in a mirror, I reckon. Yep, <laughs> okay. Just get... Oh, yeah, I need a big mirror. I need like four pretty strong people. Don't look at the demon. We'll just get that. We'll just get... <laughs> we're going to trap it in a mirror. Move your the... car. We're throwing a demon out the window gonna, in a mirror. We're, we're going to trap the demon in the mirror. We're going to kick it out the window. <laughs> Hopefully that'll kill it. I don't know. Or at least it's out of this room. I don't have to deal with it anymore. <laughs> but I think also, if you love Keanu Reeves, running around in a wet suit with wet hair. <laughs> my God. <laughs> to, to be clear, a regular <laughs> yes. suit. That is wet, not, not a, a wet suit. suit. That's right. And if look, you want him in a wet suit, you're gonna have to watch the Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou and replace Willem Dafoe's face, <laughs> absolutely, with his face. Has somebody deep faked that? Almost certainly not. But I think the idea that he's no longer English and you know, and he doesn't look anything like him, it doesn't hurt this movie. It's a different adaptation, and the idea was also they tried to get this off the ground with an English actor. Maybe mm. they went with like a Ray Fiennes or someone or in a the mid two thousands or a Sting. But no one was interested, and they went, okay, Keanu Reeves. And they went, yep, (laughs) absolutely, instantly. But what a cast all round, wouldn't you say? Uh, Tilda Swinton. Yes. Rachel Weisz. That's a chain reaction reunion. Oh, yeah. Wow. Uh, Jumon Honsu yeah. makes an appearance. Really gets around in the superhero genre, doesn't he? Really does. Really should uh, give, give him a lead role, I Hollywood. Agree. 
I completely Something agree. Something cool, you know? Uh, Michelle Monaghan, very briefly, she had mm. a bigger role. Gavin Rossdale of Bush fame. That's right. Is in this movie. Yeah. And, of course, Peter Stormare as the devil. And Shia LaBeouf. Okay, well, uh, well, okay. Let's you were going to save that. that for later, were you? No, 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 I wasn't. Actually, I didn't mean to leave that out. But I, did, <laughs> I do have a note about him. Go and on. And despite all of the things about him in real life that I absolutely do not like at all, because mm-hmm. they're terrible, but these are the kind of roles I feel like suit him best. Just someone's sidekick. Sure, right, okay, And yeah. that's as far as I think that needs hmm. to kind of go. You know what I mean? I never kind of bought him as like the big leading kind of action man thing that he was going for. You know what I mean? Um, but, um, you know, he spent a few movies as Megan Fox's uh, sidekick in the <laughs> Transformers movies. He absolutely movies. did. Uh, yeah, but but there are other things that I... Despite I, what the movies may have attempted to tell us, oh, he you, was the sidekick. You, you, are, you are absolutely not wrong. What do you think about the dynamic between him and Rachel Weisz? Like, for example, they don't kiss, and I think that's good. They just she's like... she's she's mad for it. <laughs> she's after. She wants that kiss. Do you think from so? This mysterious bad boy. Yes. I don't know about she's that. She's always like, "Ooh, kissing time." And he's like, "Nah, I gotta gotta give you a weird magic pendant or whatever." It's I'm dying of cancer time, as yeah. it is <laughs> <That's true. laughs> all the time. Yeah, no, you're right. For me, but no, I liked that that they were just like, "We're working together. There doesn't need to be a big kiss." Apparently, they also. They didn't actual line from the movie. That's right, but they didn't need. They didn't even film it because they're like, if we film this, they'll, it'll they'll, go away. They'll ha- they, they will insist on putting it in. Yeah, yeah, sure. absolutely. It's kind of a movie where it's way more creative than it probably needs to be. Like he's not much of a fighter. Like if mm-hmm. you got him in a fist fight, you, you might win. Mm-hmm. You know, because unless he, he brings out those uh, holy brass knuckles. Well, exactly because with him he's got like holy water. He's got like various like relics. Like crosses and the like. He's got a beetle, like a screaming beetle. He's got dragons. Oh, Paul breath. McCartney. He didn't kill him after <laughs> there all. We go. He's trapped him in a little box. Yeah. Um, Let me out. Help me out. Get me out of this box. I've got a Wings concert to go to later. <laughs> <laughs> he's in the crowd of Wings. Yeah, he's in the crowd, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. who's in Wings? It doesn't matter. There's he's my... in Wings. I know he is. But like, you know the bit where he lights the rag on fire? Like, mm. that's apparently part of, like, Moses' shroud. Like, it's uh, not explained. Yeah. Like, you mentioned the holy brass knuckles. God, I love I love weird relics in I movies. I know. And it's not... So they're, they're, I mean... They're, and they're, they're not specifically explained either. Yeah, I know. But I mean, they sort of, you know... Which at, is good, I'm At saying. times, I think they sort of lean into gimmickry. But I think what I like about this particular version of the character is he's got the gadgets and he's got these gizmos and relics, but he's also got his wits about him, right? Yeah. At the end, he doesn't win because he's... Um, it isn't the big golden crucifix gun that wins the day in the yeah. end. It's his wits, which Exactly. I like. Though I do like the big golden crucifix gun. That's oh, hell yeah. With the, the sprinkler system and he's just shotgunning demons. Terrific stuff. But yeah, you're absolutely right and that's what's appealing about him. And I also love that he has a piece of Moses' shroud and he's just like... I'm going to torch this and now it's gone. Yeah. Right. I'm just, that's it. I yeah. only had one of these, you know? Mm-hmm. And I think also a lot of those details are brought into like the monsters and the creatures of this universe. Like you look at like the angels, for example, I think that's a really kind of dynamic look. The way that the uh, Gavin Rostow's face, it's like layers of prosthetic and you see it kind of peeling away. Mm. And then he fights that man made of like vermin and crabs and bugs sure, and yeah. things like that. Uh-huh. I just, I love all of that. I think yeah. that's, you could have just been like, I don't know, a demon attacks him in the street or whatever. But uh-huh. you know, it's like a swarm and like, how do you even approach something like that? You mm. know, he's got a crab in him. You he punch the crab. crab in him. I'm not entirely sure. Whenever, whenever uh, hell or another dimension, they do this in Stranger Things and, and some other yeah. pro- uh, properties where, the uh, the the alternate dimension in this case hell is just the regular world. It's got but it's, but it's on fire and it's like how's that work? Generally yeah. speaking, is there some demon there like my palace? Where's my palace gone? And 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 they're like, well, they they tore that building down. They built apartments, so <laughs> but also, you don't have a palace anymore. Sorry, heaven has apartments. We get a brief glimpse and it's just skyscraper. Yeah. Is everybody just like packed into like? <laughs> yeah, space is at a premium, James. People have been dying for. At least 6,000 years. That's a, so. that's a very, very good point. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess the, the thing of this story is as well, it's a uh, Rachel Weiss has a twin sister, conveniently, who, who, can <laughs> see, who can see demons and the like. Oh, I see. Uh, I see, detective, you have a twin sister, conveniently. <laughs> Dialogue from the movie. And the idea is to kind of rescue her from hell and stop Rachel Weiss from going. And John Constantine is also trying to stop himself from going. To hell, you sure. know. But the reasons he's... I'm t- starting to think people don't want to go to this hell place. Absolutely. But I think wow. also, like, the reasons that he's being kept out or being told by the angels on Earth is because he's only doing it for selfish reasons. But it turns yeah. out that everybody involved in this war 
is just a prick. Sure. And even though he like weasels his way out of it at the end, I also get the feeling that maybe he wasn't going to go and they're just telling him that. You know what I mean? Right. You know, sure, I, yeah. I just, I, I don't think that's probably what happens in the movie, but you know what I mean? They just seem like petty enough where it's like, we're under a good thing here. I reckon if we just let this guy just kill a few more demons or yeah, whatever. Yeah, right, right. But I, I like the idea of a universe where no one's really good here, you know? Yeah, I mean, that is, that's the classic noir, isn't it? Yeah. You know, he, Constantine may not be the best guy but he's better than all these guys. And he has a shotgun. He does have that golden shotgun, he's baby. A golden shotgun. I also think one of my one of my favorite moments from this is the bit where the devil shows up in the end. Yeah. Played by Peter Stormare. And what I found, I found this fascinating bit of trivia where the idea of the costume initially was leather trousers, bare chested, a dog collar with spikes, and tattoos all over his face. On Peter Stormare. Yes. And Peter Stormare, Stormare was like, what if I just had an off white suit and with my feet were covered in tar? Sure. And that is so much more it's, interesting. It's more interesting and it and it and it sort of works with the idea that he was a he's a fallen angel. Yeah. So maybe the maybe the 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 white suit came with his office job back in the day. <laughs> and and but now he's been spending some time in the muck. That's a perfect visual metaphor. I love it. Exactly. Yeah. And Better than that weird that weird white bondage outfit that angels wear apparently. Oh, the, yeah. With those boot cut jeans <laughs> with the with the with the laces down the side. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely That's not, not right. flattering on a lot of body types. Sleeveless, sleeveless shirt. I'm not. I'm. You know, I didn't, you know, no, I'd rather, rather wear some sleeves. You want friend. some sleeves? I want some sleeves? Maybe you need to do more push-ups, Mason. Yeah, maybe. And then you'd be you'd feel more confident. Or maybe just wear it. You know what I mean? I thought you were going to say maybe just one push-up. <laughs> just one big push-up <laughs> over the course of a year. Yeah. I reckon that'd do ya. And, and I and again, you mentioned like the finale of the devil shows up and he's like, "You're coming with me," and the, you know, and they even. It's not like I've come to summon you and I've you're John Constantine, you're coming to hell. Like he lights his cigarette, they have a little chat. The devil doesn't even seem to hate him. He's just kind of yeah. like, You're pretty annoying and this is this is fun for me, I guess, just to mm, pop yeah. in, you know? Yeah, yeah. And yeah, like you mentioned, he doesn't shotgun him to death, he just tricks him. Which mm. is a very John Constantine. It's very John Constantine. In fact, I think in the uh, the original uh, Hellblazer storyline in which he gets cancer, mm. he uh, gets out of it in a similar way. But I believe he sells his soul to three different demons at the same time, so they can't. Uh, they no, they can't. Fine. They can't decide which which uh, has more right to his soul, so they just have to leave him on earth. Very good. And you know, I, I like that the devil's like, rather than you go to heaven, I'm going to cure your cancer, and I'm I'm going to get I'm, you eventually. I'm, I'm gonna You'll <laughs> trip up, Mister John Constantine. Exactly. You'll eventually kill. Uh, a member of a 1960s <laughs> rock group that somebody will be mad about, and then you'll end up in hell again. You know, it won't uh, be Keith Richards; he will never die. No, no, so. no. I gotta say though, Mason, I'm loving this joke. It's a good joke, <laughs> right? I'm a big and what's fan. great about it is, even if you didn't like it, you couldn't take it out. No, it's, absolutely. It's not. essentially the infrastructure of this whole video. Now, if you took it out, none of it's this would make any sense. The backbone. Yeah. The devil's. Yeah. Backbone. But even how he gives the devil the finger. Yes. Like, that's that's fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. Mm-hmm. I you... think a less cool character, I'd be like, that's a bit much. I agree. I this, I'm I, like, imagine if it was, yeah, I imagine if it was Shia LaBeouf in the lead. Sure. Yeah. Anyways, would you like some cons trivia? I would love... Yes. That's some John Constantine trivia, everybody. Oh, okay. Uh, so here's some other names that were considered for John Constantine. I would have called it John Constantine colon Hellblazer trivia. Yeah? Yeah. Too late. I <laughs> know it's too late. I know. John Cons. But it would be what it says on the tin. So yeah. Cons trivia is the backbone of this podcast. Uh, okay, fine. I guess you're right. I can't take it out. <laughs> so uh, it's about the names that were up for it. Nicholas Cage. Surprise, surprise. There we go. Because every comic book character at one point was Nicholas Cage was involved. He wanted one so bad. That's right. Uh, Mel Gibson, which, you know, off the back of like payback, I could see that working, okay. but also good. And here's one Kevin Spacey, considered. I'm glad that didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Because maybe we'll see more Constantine. We'll talk this particular version we'll talk about in a bit. Oh. Alan Moore decided to reject all money and credit from Hollywood on any adaptations of his work. Thus, he gave all the money he would have gotten to the artist who drew the characters with him and rejected his own created by credit from this film and others. I got to respect his commitment. He's been doing that for years. Yep. And, uh,. There you go. He's like, I'm rich and I'm a, and I live in a cave or whatever. I don't care. True, I'll yeah. do what I want. Yeah. I met John Constantine once. He said, said to give all the money back. <laughs> you know what? But but you know what? Uh, check out his work. Check out. Oh yeah. Check out Hellblazer. Check out. I mean, uh, 
People may or may not, but people are probably aware. He created Watchmen V for Vendetta. Yep. Just so much stuff. League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, but we don't talk about that a lot. But watch it. Check, the out, comic, the, yeah. check out the comic book. It's way better. He's doing good swamp thing, isn't he? Sure. Yeah. Uh, the Spear of Destiny prop is the same one used in Hellboy 2004. Oh. What I also like about the Spear of Destiny is it's introduced from the very get-go. It's like the Spear of Destiny when missing. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Sure. And you think like, this is going to be the thing that stops the whatever. No, nah. no, nope. <laughs> it's not. It's a cheeky con job. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, you may as well have tricked uh, the devil with that shell game where you put the <laughs> P under the. <laughs> you could have bested him in Mario Party. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Also, uh, to tie into Hellboy, it's my last bit of uh, constrivia. The title was changed from Hellblazer because it was too similar to Hellboy. Ah, not Hellraiser. No. Okay, but well, I, I think Hellraiser that was ori- I think that was originally. Oh, I think it would. He's he's the original comic book was going to be called Hellraiser. Yeah. But then Hellraiser came out, so they're like, "What about Hellblazer?" Perfect. But then somebody invented the navy blue blazer. <laughs> they call it Constantine. God damn! Right. Uh, also, this is a new uh, type of trivia that I'm going to spring on you, Mason. Okay. It's called. It's time for Mason's watch trivia. So John Constantine wears a watch. Oh, uh, it's what a, is it? It's an Oris modern classic. Oh, look at this guy. Yeah, he's like Rain. Don't test me on these. He's things, like Rain James. Man for watches. I yeah. love it. Yeah, you can pick one of those up on eBay, I reckon. <laughs> yeah, came out. I, th- I think they stopped production in like the late nineties. That particular model, but I bet you could pick one up for a very reasonable price. That sounds amazing. Yeah. Well, not now, but it's in this incredibly successful Sold video. out. Sorry, everybody. Yeah. Uh, we, we, so you were saying something about sequels. Yeah, well, uh, before I get to that, I'll just quickly talk box office. Unlike the other movies we're talking about, this one did quite well, comparatively. Mm. It cost between 70 to $100 million to make, but it made 230 which meant it probably, probably broke, broke even. even. <laughs> I don't have the exact numbers. Get the air horns out. It's yeah, the probably yeah. broke even horns. And because <laughs> they're at, uh, look, whenever we talk about box office, people are like, well, uh, this is how you figure it out. And other people think it's a different way. Well, thing, to be clear, know. we don't know. No, but, we don't know and it, anything. And it's not only that, it's different studio to studio, movie to movie. Mm, that's so true. just to clarify yep. that. So yes. So because it did okay, mm-hmm. and because people liked it, yeah. There's been rumblings that this might make an appearance, but I mean the the I, I this think, version, yeah. yeah. And I think probably the reason that uh, it it didn't get a sequel fairly soon after is everybody in the cast went on to do a bunch of other stuff, that is including true. win multiple Oscars. Tilda yep. Swinton won one, Rachel Weisz won an Oscar. Yep. Uh, Peter Stormare had to go back to hell. Yeah, that's true. Shia LaBeouf was in Transformers movies for a decade. Well, he died in this also. Yeah, But that's it doesn't true. matter, I guess, in this yeah, universe, yeah, yeah. does it? Yeah. So there was going to be a Justice League Dark movie for a time, but I don't think that was going to be this version. Mm. But Francis Lawrence, who directed this, and I Am Legend, and all the Hunger Games movies, and a bunch of other stuff, he's talked about wanting to continue it, and said, we got caught in this weird PG-13, no R rating, no man's land, and we should do a hard R, scary version Uh, which I would still love to do. Also, going into this, it doesn't feel PG-13, does it? Like when you see a demon's face melt off, you know what I mean? There's a bunch of things that happen in this and suicides (laughs) and talk of being trapped in hell and there's a rude middle finger. And even, and you know, worst of all, there's one (laughs) F-bomb. That's right. (laughs) Which is the ultimate, you know? And Keanu Reeves has also said multiple times over the years that he is absolutely open to returning. I do wonder whether maybe that's why he's never taken on a major comic book role. Because he wants to come back to this? Not that you can't... I mean, you can do do both. You know what I mean? But just because... I mean, these days you must do both. You've got to be multiple characters and then they can all meet later. Exactly. Some sort of multimedia uh, extravaganza and we can all point and we like, look, he's, he's... Constantine, and, that's and he's John Lennon, <laughs> and he's uh, a Marvel guy, some Marvel guy, who cares, I don't know. Yes, we have some Marvel guy, who cares, yeah, <laughs> perfect. Uh, Peter Stormare also said in 2020 that a sequel was in the works, oh. which is interesting, but as of this point, as of recording, nothing official, but do not be surprised if we see uh, Keanu Reeves' John Constantine pop up yet again, and quite frankly, good. And also like good that. that they cast it all the way back then, because... You probably couldn't cast him now because people would be upset about the hair and the. Oh, very thing. true. But as, now, as but now we've seen time. him before, yeah, so now yeah. we must have him again. exactly. But and I mean, people were yeah a bit upset at the time, but people yeah. didn't really. Look, know uh, that I much mean, about but it. at this point, I imagine I imagine everybody would still be game to do this. I mean, Tilda Swinton was, of course, the ancient one in, yep. in Doctor Strange and and so forth. But uh, Peter Stormare was in the Joey spinoff. 
That's true. Which might have been Joey. A spin-off of Joey. It was called Joey, a spin-off of Joey. Joey, Joey and his even more boring mates, which yeah, is yeah, a spin-off yeah. of Joey's boring mates. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I guess you, you, be, you better hope they all agree to a pay cut. They're yeah. like, we're do- okay, we've all agreed to do this for scale. Yeah. And Keanu's going to give everybody motorcycles. Or maybe he's in the flash. <laughs> he might be in the flash, <laughs> yeah. Be, yeah. him in the flash. Anyways, this has been Caravan of Garbage. And yes, we do do these every week. I heard your questions. Yes. Just yeah. look at the channel. They're here every week. Why are you asking? The, why are you watching one video and then asking this question? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Have you never seen YouTube before? Mm. If you haven't, welcome to YouTube. It's amazing. Look around. It's mostly horrible. Yeah, you're right, actually. It's an amazing platform, but you could go down some real dark rabbit holes. Uh, speaking of... If you would like to see these videos early, Mason, you can. If you Go down to, the darkest rabbit hole of them that's all. Right. Head over to bigsandwich.co, which is like our Patreon. It's $9 a month, but it's not just early videos. We do bonus podcasts exclusively there, along with exclusive movie commentaries and a bunch of other stuff if you do want to check it out, including our podcast, The Weekly Planet, where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. That comes out there Sunday as opposed to Monday. All of that is also ad-free. What an ad pitch. I've done it. But here's something else for you, Mason. Nothing sus. Agreed. Do you want to hint towards next week? Yes. Here it is. No, this is in this, this is the extended. Yeah, yeah. This is where we keep it. Real. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because we actually, I don't know. No, I was going to say, do you right know? Now? Do you want to guess? It's going to be something. It's going to be something it's from that be a era. Big DC band. bomb. Greenland. Maybe coming up, but it's not Greenland. Oh, it's another DC bomb. Yeah, unless it's not. <laughs> unless I, I name it, and you're like, that's not a DC character, you idiot. Ah, uh, oh, so it's not like a superhero we want. It's, uh, no. it's okay. It's not the oh, losers. Oh, Jonah Hex. There we go. Yes. Not the losers, because you know losers. No, I like the losers. Good, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But it'll probably unless didn't... it's bad. Maybe it hasn't aged well. Yeah, it was better than the A team. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Anyways, I've never seen Jonah X. Me neither. Oh, this is a real trip. Man, what a wild ride. Right. That will be. And then he went on to be Thanos. That's true. And he was in Deadpool. <laughs> to you. All right. Oh yeah. We're out of here though. I'm at Mr. Sunday Movies on Twitter. I'm at Wikipedia Round on Twitter. Thank you to both Ben and Lawrence for the edit. And again, if you've got any suggestions for Caravan of Garbage, let us know below in the comment. Now! In the comment. In the comment. The yeah. one comment. The one comment will if, allow. If you look and somebody's already made a comment, it's too late. Yeah. yeah. Nah, do, no, do a comment Okay, anyway. you can do more comment. Okay, goodbye. Okay. Yeah, grab that, Jamie, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye. Ciao. This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. I mean, if you want. It's up to you.